Hey, what's up, Thrashers? It's me, Thrashmaniac99, and this is going to be the start of a day in the life vlog because I am going to SmackDown Live in Dayton tonight, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. First time I've been to a SmackDown show in, oh, I don't know, nearly four years. So this is going to be fun. Plus, I'm going to meet up with a good friend of mine in the uh, in our community who's in my Marvel Studios Cup series, Kyle Matthews. So that's going to be fun. Be on the lookout for that as this video goes along. But uh, until then, I'll see you guys here after a while. Well, we have finally arrived here at the Nutter Center, continuing the day in the life. And it's Jesse, <laughs> my typical uh, road trip buddy. We went to Civil War and Doctor Strange, right? Yeah, right. And now we're here on SmackDown, and she's disappointed because Roman Reigns ain't here. Mm, that's the best part. No. This is the best part. The face that runs the place, AJ Styles, is the best part. She don't get it. <laughs> well, we'll see you guys here in a bit. Hey, what's up? I'm back here at uh, SmackDown, and I'm joined by Hello. Kyle. Hi. That's Kyle Matthews for you, a.k.a. Tony Stewart. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, like yeah, at least he sounds like him, yeah, but, uh, yeah, we just got here. It's still only a half hour before the uh, show even starts. So, expectations for tonight. So, we're kicking off with Daniel Bryan showing up. Yep. Probably going to talk about what happened at Money in the Bank, the the uh, women's Money in the Bank match, all the controversy, how that ended, and that's yep. probably how we'll start out with. He'll come out there, cut a promo, get a huge ass ovation. And yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. So, damn that Ellsworth, I still irked about that. I swear. I hope something gets sorted out. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, but uh, the one thing I'm looking forward to, damn hand. Yeah, the one thing I'm looking forward to tonight is seeing. AJ Styles oh, yes. for the first time, as well as Shinsuke Nakamura. I can't wait for his entrance. That, that's going to be, in my hopefully mind, the best part. Hopefully we get part. to see it. Hopefully, like, Baron Corbin doesn't interrupt it like you did at uh, Money in the Bank. That would really suck. Oh, yeah, that, that, that definitely would. But, um, yeah, we're about to go to our seats. Well, for me, I'm about to get some food and drink. So we'll catch up with you in a little bit.
All right, well, SmackDown just concluded, and me and Kyle just got out of it. Two or five lives going on right now, but we're taking a break. Oh, my God, that SmackDown was awesome. Holy it shit. definitely was. Um, I don't know how it looked on TV. I'm gonna, I have it recorded, so I'm going to go home and watch it and see, <laughs> see if it was as good on TV as it was in person. But. Yeah, and the camera, there was a camera down, down at the floor that was in my area. I don't know if... It'd be awesome if I got on TV somehow, because it was pointing right it, towards quite us. Quite possibly, yeah. If, you know, this way as many times as they show the announce table during the show, so you never know. Yeah, absolutely. I mean... Or is he fighting again tonight, or is that next week? What is it? Or Randy Orton, is he fighting again tonight? Or? Uh, I guess he is tonight, I after 2 or 5 Live. I think it's going to be a dark match after the after 2 or 5 Live. Yeah. Uh, it's just a dark main event they do after each show. I've been around a few times and know this happens on occasion. They don't so. on TV, though, do they? Nah, they don't. <laughs> Guest uh, appearance from uh, somebody. <laughs> Some random dude. Yeah. I have um, to say, I am very disappointed with Chad Gable. He ruined my shot. You know, Kevin Owens said it's, he wanted a Dayton, Ohio native. <laughs> I was ready. I was heading down there. I was going to take that U.S. title. Yeah, that would have been pretty funny, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, I've got the proper attire on here, I mean, for the U.S. title, come on. Exactly. Uh, but hey, AJ was there for commentary, so I guess I kind of helped a bit, but, uh, Jesus, it's hot in here, holy shit. But, uh, or it could be just me from walking up those damn yeah, stairs, yeah. it's like a workout for a fat ass like me. It's like me trying to get in here, we had to take the stairs just to get into the building on the very side, that wore my ass out. Just oh yeah, I, I had that experience at WrestleMania 30, no doubt. But uh, so also we had a solid main event with Harper and Mahal, I would say. Um, the crowd seemed kind of dead for that match. Though. It did a little bit, but the crowd the crowd here is awesome. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't, I would say it's a tad bit better than Cincinnati or Columbus, I would say. And I've been to shows in both cities for Raw and SmackDown or what have you. Yeah, Dayton was a lot better. There's this guy sitting behind us and was just yelling the most random shit during the during the entire show. It was Same hilarious. thing. There were two guys over on the on like one side that was going absolutely nuts. They're like uh, talking about gender with how jerk how jacked he is, and they're like, "I hear DDP Yoga does wonders." <laughs> that cracked me up. So that was pretty funny. Um, but yeah, Shinsuke and Ziggler was. Really Enjoy good. The One thing I'm surprised every match they showed had a decision and no interferences from anybody to ruin the no, thing. No, none whatsoever. Except for the Singh brothers, of yeah. course, at the end. Uh, but then Carmella got the briefcase taken from her. Yes, yes, yes. That you was know, sweet. I don't know how I feel about it because I honestly like Carmella. So it's... I don't mind Carmella. It's just I didn't feel she deserved it this soon. I kind of thought someone that's been there for a long right. time that hasn't gotten their just due like Becky or Natalia or Tamina should have wanted. I would have I wouldn't have cared if Charlotte won even though it would have been overkill. It's like does she have to win everything historically? Yeah, that would have been just too easy to Too easy to go party. even though I picked her in the predictions for the pay-per-view, but and, it backfired. And I bet you were excited you got to see Becky Lynch. Oh yeah, time. no was doubt. Was that the first time you got I Yeah, that that was the oh, first nice. time. That that was the first time. And also fun fact, Kyle, there's a house show coming to Huntington next month. It's a Raw House show. I plan on going and I'm going to get to see Alexa Bliss. I, I got to see, <sighs> hey, the last time I was here was for a House show, the SmackDown House show, and I got to see her there. So, yeah, that, yeah that, that's good for you, man. Um, but yeah, seeing Daniel Bryan, second time in person, first time at WrestleMania 30 when he got his big win. And to see him again, that, that was pretty cool. That was cool to see Daniel Bryan and Mike and Maria Kanellis. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was pretty funny. I'm curious to see where that's going in to go. In other words, tonight, if you missed Money in the Bank, if you missed their debut of Money in the Bank, just watch SmackDown tonight. You will, uh, oh, yeah. SmackDown tonight something. was really good. In my opinion, I can't comment too much on Raw because I fell asleep, but I did watch the highlights back. I do think this was better than Raw. That, that's yeah. just me, and also it adds to the live experience. I was a little bit disappointed there were no actual women's matches tonight. I that was, is true. I was, that is I true. was truly expecting to get all the women in the ring. I was truly expect, expecting a Teddy Long-style tag team match to be thrown in there. But. <laughs> that would have been pretty funny. That, that, that would have been pretty funny. Well, we're going to go back to watch the rest of 205 Live. And um, this will be the last you'll see of us in the video. But I'll be back at the end when I get home. So, peace. Hey, it's me again. I just got home after a two-hour drive back, 
And I didn't get to show these off when I was in the Nutter Center, but the only things I ended up getting were the new John Cena wristband sweatband bundle, the uh, Never Give Up, and the You Can't See Me Hustle Loyalty Respect sign. So those are the only things I got. Uh, I did actually get a collector's cup, but it's out in the other room, so... But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this day in the life vlog. Um, there may be another one coming next month. I may go to a house show in Huntington, West Virginia for Raw House Show. And that should be fun. But until next video, to quote Jim Carrey, this concludes our broadcast day. Click.